Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of my converting a alternator into a brushless DC motor video series. In this video we're going to be covering the code for the Arduino that we used in our electronics that we did in the last video. Um, I want to go over the Arduinos just a quick moment. Um, they come in many shape sizes and flavors if you've researched them or if you have one I have three of them right here this little guy here this is the Nano and then this one here is the Uno the Nano is basically just a miniature version of the Uno and then this one here which is the one I used in the last video is the mega and it has a whole lot more pins for your inputs and outputs uh, the nano honestly is the one I would go with but I was just using the mega since I had it right on hand the code is compatible with any of these so you should not have any problems at all with it so let's get over to the software side of things and I'll step through the code and to kind of explain how exactly it works. All right, here we are in the Arduino programming software, or the IDE, they call it. Um, this is the code that will be running our motor, and it's really simple, so we'll just walk through it real quick, and that way you have an understanding of what's going on and what you can change to tune things if you need to. So any of these lines that has the two forward slashes, those are just notes. Those are not doing anything. So here I just have, I'm kind of explaining what pins go to what. So our pin 10 is our signal wire from our ESC. So that's the white wire. If your ESC has a white wire, some of them has a orange wire. And then you have your positive side of your potentiometer will go to a five volt pin on the Arduino. And if you have your ground side on your potentiometer will go to a ground pin and then the potentiometer wiper now that's the center pin on the potentiometer that will go to pin A0 or analog 0 and then our 1k resistor on our transistor will go to pin 12 now this part of the code this is just setting things up in the Arduino so it knows what is going on basically so here we're including servo h servo h is just a servo library that is included into the arduino software that's something you will not have to download or anything like that it's it's in there and then we're setting this up we're just setting the servo up and then here we are setting up our pins our potentiometer pin a0 and then a value that's a value that we'll be referencing to later on in the code and then our relay that is pin 12 and then our servo that is connecting to pin 10. Now this part here this is the meat and potatoes of it all. This here is just setting up a analog read that's reading the where the potentiometer is at whether you know turned up or down and that reading will be a number between 0 and 1023 so that's setting the value up we're mapping that to the reading on the potentiometer to anything between 48 if it's 0 and if it's 1023 be 170 that's what our setting up our value will be it would be a number between 48 and 170 the 170 um, you can set it up to 180, but one thing I found out with my ESC particularly, you can experiment with it a bit see what happens. But anything over 170, the motor will get up to full speed, and then when you turn that knob just a little bit more, it'll shut off. So 170, I found out, is full speed. And 48, that's a good low value to shut the motor off. Now our next part here, this here, if statements our value if it's greater than 51 now that's between 48 and 170 if it's greater than that so I'm turning the knob up to turn the motor on that will turn the relay on so the the power to the field coil is turning on now if the knobs turned all the way down that value should be at 
48. Now I have this set where if it, the value, that's our 48 to 170, if that's below 51, then that's turning the relay off. Um, these numbers here you might play with also. Um, kind of depends on how good your potentiometer is. Mine's kind of crappy. Um, I've got some new ones on the way to see if it makes any difference. But if your relay is staying on, would you turn it all the way down to be off? If it's staying on, take these two numbers and bump them up. Try like 55 at, sir, at first and see if that turns it off when you turn it all the way down. Or if your knob, you turning it up a whole bunch, say you got to turn it up a quarter of a turn before the relay comes on, you might want to lower this number a little bit. I'd turn it down to 50 or 49 or 48. Uh, the slow number 48, you can kind of play with it also. So technically you can go zero on it. But these numbers for my setup, I found to work the best. And then after that's all done, all you need to do is take a USB cable, connect it up to your computer in your Arduino, and go up here to the little arrow and hit upload. And that will save it onto the Arduino, and we are ready to run. So now that we have our Arduino programmed with our code, we will be set up and ready to give it a test run and we will find out if we need to tweak them numbers in the code any at all. Now I will take that code and I will include it into the comment on this video so all you have to do is copy and paste it into the Arduino software. Now if you're totally new to Arduino there is a thousand videos out there to get started. Um, let's just say your absolute best starting point I would say is to go to the arduino.cc website that is the main website for Arduino and I mean you'll find a wealth of information on there you'll find the IDE to download and all the information on getting you started now if you're first time to Arduino um, you're going to find these things very very useful if you're interested in any kind of electronics and stuff I absolutely love these things and use them to control about everything anymore they have totally changed how I do electronics so I hope this video is very informative for you and until next time you like the video subscribe them if you want to and in the next video, we will be getting our alternator slash motor running and see if we have to do any tuning on this code. So until next time, get out there and make something and just have fun. See ya.